April 2025, one of the heaviest months for civilian casualties since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. Despite all the efforts to establish at least a temporary truce, Russia keeps intensifying its attacks. In light of a permanent threat, Ukraine's engineers have developed a system to protect the civilian population and the cities. Tonight we are working in the north of Ukraine. This is a direction where Russian Shahids enter in Ukrainian airspace, and uh, we are working with their defense unit. The guys are testing a new system that can be best described as the old school meets new technology. Meet Sky Sentinel. For now, it's a prototype that will soon be integrated into the Ukrainian air defense system. It is an AI-powered turret equipped with a heavy machine gun and capable of 360 degrees rotation. Its primary targets are Shahid drones, but it also can destroy objects twice smaller in size, as well as cruise missiles. 10 to 30 such turrets will be able to cover a city, and fewer can protect objects such as electricity and heat plants, factories and so on. Given Russia's daily air raids, having systems like this is crucial for civilian safety. How active is everything flying around here now? Right now? For the past month. It's gotten more intense. In general, there's been a lot more of them in recent months. I remember in 2022, 2023, it was still very different back then. We didn't have to wait for too long to hear, at least hear the first um, Shahid drones. Um, we hear one buzzing just right over there. And uh, I don't know how um, high it is, but probably if it's uh, within our range, we might be able to shoot it down, so let's see. First, I had to track the target until it's within my range. And then I lock it. To open a fire, these two tumblers must be switched on. And that's it. I'll wait for the target to approach, and then the third computer itself takes into account the height and other data already calculated by the rangefinder. Then, when everything is calculated, I will see a sign indicating that the fire is authorized, and then it starts shooting. For now, the operator has to track the target. However, the new version will be able to do it automatically and remotely, making the personnel job easier. Each such turret costs $150,000, making a cost-efficient tool in the fight against Russian drones. Even though it's a prototype, we already can see the results. Sky Sentinel is already shooting down Russian drones. The team is now preparing to launch a new update and soon will be transitioning to the mass production. Join us in raising $1,500,000 towards the purchase of 10 AI-controlled turrets to protect Ukrainians from Russian aerial threats.